Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to define an HTML class in JSX. Now that you're getting comfortable writing JSX, you may be wondering how it differs from HTML. So far, it may seem that HTML and JSX are exactly the same. One key difference is in JSX is that you can no longer use the word class to define HTML classes. This is because class is a reserved word in JavaScript. Instead, JSX uses class name and when they do it in camel case. In fact, the naming convention of all HTML attributes and event references in JSX become camel case. For example, a click event in JSX is on click instead of on click. Uh, so it's on click with a capital C versus on click with a lowercase c. Likewise, on change becomes on change with an uppercase c. While this is a sub subtle difference, it is an important one to keep in mind moving forward. This is very important to keep in mind. Like uh, a lot of times, just errors of simple one letter being lowercase rather than uppercase can really throw you off and you can be searching for bugs for a long time. So we want to apply a class of my div to the div provided in the JSX code. So here we have, um, we want to apply a class of my div so here we're going to say class is equal to uh, my div to the div to provide in the JSX code. And so this is probably not even going to make a difference. We run the tests. It doesn't work. My class. The div should have a class of my div. Should have a class. Oh, I already made this mistake. I made it in HTML. What we need to do is make it a class name like that. And uh, yeah. That makes it so that this is um, the way that we do it. So um, they were also saying like, um, instead of, whereas you would used to be able to say on click is equal to, and then put some sort of a JavaScript thing in here. Now we would have to say on click. And then that would also render um, here. If I were to right click here, inspect the element. Yeah, we would see um, my, uh, Maybe I need to say something. Uh, console log. Yeah, and so here, let's see, did I get it? Okay, this is the iframe, the document, the HTML, head, body. Here we've got our challenge node. Huh. Okay, so I'm just going to right click here and click inspect. We go in here, my div class on click, on click. It's not letting me create an on click. What about on change? And I right click here, inspect. No, it's not allowing me to do that. I don't know, maybe that's some sort of a test thing. But anyways, the whole idea here is that you say class name instead of class. Um, and use class that'll be used for your CSS and things like that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.